Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to my channel. I am Miss Kim, and today's book is going to talk all about luck. <laughs> Nancy has discovered that there is a whole list of what is lucky and what is not. And her mind is just spinning. She is so worried that she's not going to remember. Well, let's just see what happens when we begin this story. Fancy Nancy, Just My Luck by Jane O'Connor, illustrated by Robin Priest Glasser. For show and share, Clara has a four-leaf clover she passes around. Four-leaf clovers bring good luck, Clara tells everyone. They bring even more good luck than finding a penny. Miss Glass isn't positive that is true. Positive is fancy for sure about something. She says, I don't believe in good luck charms, but four-leaf clovers are quite rare. There aren't a lot of them. So Clara is lucky to have one. At recess, I decide to find a four-leaf clover of my own. Lionel helps. Here is what we find. A key, some string, a wheel from a toy car, and Robert's library card. Wow, that's pretty lucky. <laughs> Thanks, Robert says. He puts the card in his pocket. It is hard because he is upside down. I'm lucky you found it. <laughs> How do you think his library card fell out? <laughs> You're right, he was hanging upside down. On the way inside, I hear someone shouting. It is Grace from the other class. Didn't you see what you just did? You stepped on a crack, Grace says. She points to a sidewalk square. There is a big crack in it. So what, I say. Duh, says Grace. Don't you know that's bad luck? No, I say. I was not aware of that. Oh, poor Nancy. She is learning all about, let's see what else she learns about luck. It turns out that Grace is an expert on bad luck. Expert is fancy for someone who knows a lot. Walking under a ladder is bad luck. Don't open an umbrella indoors or spill salt. Anything with 13 is bad luck. And you better hope that a black cat never runs by you. That's like double trouble bad luck. Wow, there are so many bad luck things to keep track of. Wow, look at all that, that Grace is talking about, all of those bad luck things. What do you think? Well, we'll keep reading and see just how Fancy Nancy truly believes by the end of the book. You ready? At lunch, I spill pudding on myself. Maybe it's because I stepped on the sidewalk crack. For bad luck, it is not so bad. But from now on, I need to be more careful. On the way home, I try not to walk on any cracks. I have to back up and leap over this one. Phew, I just made it. Wow, that was a pretty good leap, Nancy. Look at the crack in that sidewalk.
at home, I check all the mirrors. Phew, none of them have cracks. At dinner, Jojo bangs my arm by accident. I almost spill some salt. Phew, that was a close call. The next morning, it is raining. I almost forgot about not opening an umbrella inside. Phew, that was another close call. <clears throat> All day, I stay away from 13s. I eat 14 veggie chips. <laughs> I use 12 pipe cleaners. Then math gets me in trouble. One of the problems is six plus seven. When Miss Glass calls on me, I say, 37? Hmm, is that right, boys and girls? <laughs> I know that is incorrect. That is fancy for wrong, wrong, wrong. But maybe saying 13 will bring bad luck. Big bad luck. So she didn't want to say 13. So she said the incorrect answer, didn't she? She was all nervous about the number 13 bringing her bad luck. By the end of the day, I am exhausted. That is way more tired than tired. What's wrong? Miss Glass asked. I knew the answer was 13, I say. I explain about bad luck stuff. Keeping bad luck away is hard work. Oh, my goodness, she's all exhausted. And what did she say exhausted meant? That's right. It's more tired than tired, so she's really tired about having to think about all the bad luck things. Miss Glass puts an arm around me. Nancy, don't worry about any of these things. They aren't true, I promise. I want to believe Miss Glass. Miss Glass is very wise after all. That is fancy for extra smart. Walking home, I try not to think about cracks. Then, a block from my house, something terrible happens. A black kitten comes out of nowhere and runs across the sidewalk. Grace says a black cat is double trouble and bad luck. A second later, a boy turns the corner. My kitten got out of the house. Have you seen it? The kitten went into the park, I tell the boy. Without thinking, I help him look. It's just a lost kitten that needs my help. Oh, how nice of Nancy to go help that little boy find his lost kitten. At last, I spot the kitten. It is in the playground tube. I block one end of the tube. The boy crawls in. And out he comes with his kitten. Thanks so much, he says. It sure was good luck that you saw where she ran. Seeing a black cat wasn't bad luck at all. Grace is mistaken. Miss Glass is Correct. Oh, Nancy's so happy that she got to help the little boy find his kitten. Just before I get home, I see something shiny in a puddle. It is a penny, a new penny. Maybe it will not bring good fortune. I put it in my pocket anyway. After all, 
If I find 99 more, <laughs> I will have a dollar. And that is almost a fortune. Yay, Nancy. <laughs> now that is a good way of thinking. These are the fancy words in this book. Exhausted. Way more tired than tired. She was having to think all day long about what could possibly bring her bad luck and she was exhausted. Expert. Someone who knows a lot. That's what she said Grace was. Incorrect. Wrong, wrong, wrong when she gave the wrong answer. Positive, sure about something. Miss Glass told her about not to worry. Rare, not a lot. Remember way at the beginning, four leaf clovers are rare. There's not a lot of them. Wise, extra smart. She said that Miss Glass was extra smart, wise. Boys and girls, I am so glad you joined me with this book today. Fancy Nancy, Just My Luck. And remember, a good book and your imagination will take you anywhere. Until next time, bye. <laughs>